Hi, I thought I'd shoot a short video um, on this uh, Cell Pro um, Power Lab 8, 1,344 watts. Uh, new charger I got. Thought it's pretty cool. I've been uh, playing with it a little bit, so I thought I'd share a little bit about it. I'm using a 24 volt with a whole bunch of amps charger. I don't recall what the amperage is on this thing, but you can get this at Offshore Electric from a guy on there that sells it uh, under the sell page, I believe. And um, really good power supply, so I got a lot of amperage and uh, the charger set up for 24 volts and 60 amps. I'll show you a little more of that later. So this charger, I got a uh, parallel charging board. It'll charge up to six batteries uh, balanced. So right now I have four 3300 milliamp packs hooked on. They're Hyperion batteries with a 5C charge rate. So what I'm going to do is set this to charge at 10 amps, which is a per battery per pack, which is about 3C. A um, little bit, a little bit, you know, off of that, but around 3C charge rate, just to kind of show you how it works. So basically, just plug this in. Uh, come over to the charger, see if I can get to where you can actually see the verbiage on the charger. There we go. I'm going to hit the enter key. DC power supply, because it'll run off a battery or just a home power supply. I'm going to do a uh, high power charge. These are just some preset things they have in there. Parallel packs. Uh, let me back up. Here it shows you high power. Parallel packs. We say yes. Hang on. Um, let me see. I'm doing a 4P because I'm charging four packs. Charge rate is going to then be 10 amps per pack for a total of a 40 amp charge rate. Skip the discharge because these are all down to their 40% charge right now. And we start the charge. Checking packs. It says enter to confirm. And away we go. And let's see what we got going on here. You can basically scroll through tells you it's starting at 48 percent it's kind of the fuel level there's each of the cells kind of gives you the elapsed time just getting going here. There's my power supply, 24 volts. I'm only using 28 amps right now at this point in time. Alright, so it's off and going and I'm just kind of scrolling through to show you there's a lot you can see while it's doing. So you can basically do the whole charger charge process with just the charger just like I showed. Very simple to set up and get going and plug in and away you go. However, it also plugs into your PC if you want to, which I'm doing here. And it gives you a ability to look at a whole bunch of things while you're charging. Um, right here, you can see um, current is 10 amps. So we're going, we're really going right now. Um, you can see the set point, the cycles, the fuel. Um, it is often charging. You can also see the cells up here. Uh, the neat thing about this charger I found is it it balances while it charges, not after the charge. So it literally will bypass cells and balance them as it's doing the charge. So that when it's complete, at the end of the charge, it's done, rather than trying to burn off a cell to balance it out. It balances on the actual charge. Hope that makes sense. Um, I thought that was a pretty neat deal. Uh, you also get some numbers about the internal resistance on the cells. It gives you a whole bunch of stuff that you need to record it over a period of time and understand this. I don't really understand the internal resistance that well, other than they need to be similar uh, within a variance. And uh, 
it gives you kind of a brief explanation of the IR, but I have more to learn on that. This is some information about the setup of the charger. You describe to it the DC power supply, so I'm telling it 23.5 volts to give it a little room for sag. And then I'm telling it the current limit is 60 amps. Um, actually, that's the maximum you can have with this charger uh, with a 24 volt setup. Uh, I discovered with a 12 volt setup that the maximum amperage you can do is 40. If you do the math on the 24 times 60, that gets you to about 1400 watts, I believe, which is uh, matches up with the 1344 that they say for the charger. Um, you can see here at the supply voltage is at 24.51, 28.35 amps. Kind of gives you some information about what it's pulling from the charger. Um, you got uh, also the ability to set up, if you're using a 12 volt car battery, some parameters about that as well. So it uh, gives you some nice stuff there. One of the other nice deals, uh, lots of settings, things that you can set up. You can program the box. Uh, one of the nice things I like up here is the graphs. You can actually view um, all kinds of things. You can see right here, there's a whole lot of different uh, items. We can do um, pack volts versus time. We can do um, amps versus times. You can see we're cranking right now on the charge. Um, you can do internal resistance versus time. So a whole bunch of graphics, graphing abilities and you can save each charge if you want. You can even look at your supply voltage and see what's going on with that. So you can look at the voltage versus time and the amps versus time. So uh, a lot of a lot of good information on the P, on the PC and the software package. Um, but I want to point out to people, um, really day to day, you just plug in your batteries, you set the charge rate, and you go with the charger, and it's that simple. It has a lot of fail safe stuff in it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm really happy with the charger. So I just thought I'd share a little bit about it because um, there seems to be a limited amount of information on it. Um, you can see, I just do one more check. It's on its way. We're at a little over 4 volts on the batteries. I'm charging up to go play with the boats tomorrow. Uh, again, you can see I'm doing, you know, almost 10 amps, right? It was right at about 10 amps on each battery right now. And you can see the fuel. I'm at 85% now. Um, super fast charge rate basically it's 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 cranking it's filling up the batteries quick um, I could definitely I don't have two more 4S batteries that are well actually I do I could try a little test and just crank up on it with a maximum load of batteries but I don't think I'm gonna have any problem with the amperage because I could bump up to 60 amps uh, for six packs and do 10 amps per pack for a four cell pack so again, uh, nice to have a computer to look at all that stuff, but not necessary. You can scroll through the um, diagrams here and get a lot of information about what's going on with the charge. So um, that's it for now. I just thought I'll post this up on YouTube. Uh, if you got any questions, you can ask me. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so I may not be able to answer everything, but. Um, highly recommend the setup. I'm very happy with it. I've gone through a couple of charge iterations. The packs come out perfectly balanced every time. Uh, really nice, nice charger. Uh, can't say enough good things about this little power supply also because it's much smaller than it appears. Let me put the, the charger next to it. It's a very small um, power supply, but it can crank out the amperage big time. Thanks. Bye.